The nomination period is now open for this year's Positively Milwaukee Awards. We honor friends and neighbors who do so much for people but often get very little recognition. People like Joe Flick, a Milwaukee firefighter and founder of Ignite the Spirit. I could have never imagined that I'd be sitting here at 35 years old uh, with the life that I have because of being able to become a firefighter. He's exactly positively Milwaukee. He's the most positive person on his job. Cares a ton about the department and what he does. Truthfully, firefighters want to be proactive, and Joe did the proactive step of starting something. Ignite the Spirit is actually, we just, we work to support firefighters and their families in times of need. I take what we do very personally. In 2006, I was stationed on Brady Street at Engine 6. And it was a weekend, I was off, thankfully. Um, but I had a little brother at the time that had an accident down off of uh, Farwell. He passed away that night. My crew, my guys that worked, were the ones that handled that call. Like, I still think of that. Yeah. That was one of the first times that I got to see kind of how people would rally around you when you needed it. In 2017, we were about to lose one of our firefighters to her battle with cancer. Lieutenant Kristen Saganik. She died from cancer that was caused by things that we come in contact with every day. There were a ton of firefighters helping, but there's only so many firefighters, like those resources eventually run out. It'd be great if there was some sort of a formal, ongoing, proactive fundraising that we can do to help. That's where it all started from. If one of us went down or one of us needed help, to know that there's an organization right, like that that's going to make sure that we're all taken care of, that's love. The fundraising, the parties that we do, the events that we do, they're all fun, right? But the back end of that is you're going to go meet a family that's in the middle of something heavy that it's not fun to be around. We're bad at asking for help because it shows weakness. And I was there. You know, 19 years here in the city and, and 22 years total, it, it, things built up and I wouldn't ask for help and I wouldn't ask for help. I mean, I felt like I was at the lowest point of my life. I got to the point last year where there were numerous times where I had either opened the drawer and looked at my 9mm that was sitting there and a few times where I had actually uh, put it to my head and thought about pulling the trigger. And it came to the point where it was time for me to go get help. It was very last minute, and the plane ticket was going to cost close to $800 to go out and get me help. That's where Joe and Ignite the Spirit stepped in, and they paid for not only my plane ticket to go out there, but for one of our peer support members to fly out with me. If I hadn't gone there, I probably wouldn't be around. I mean, that place saved my life and they helped me get there. I think it was probably another six months or so was when um, we realized that Tony was gonna be hurt in a bad way. Going on about five and a half, six years ago, my wife was first diagnosed with cervical cancer. And then she was clear for about a year. And then it had metastasized or grew to her lungs. My crew and I were working on Christmas and I remember getting the phone call from Tony's dad. And it just sucked the life out of the entire day, of all days, you know, it's gotta be on Christmas. It was probably about a month went by before we were able to host uh, the benefit. I tried to help with uh, the mounting medical bills that were coming. I think the final number, um, after all was said and done, was a little over $30,000. That, that was a big event for us. It effectively wiped out their medical debts that they had left over from the last couple of years. It was phenomenal. And the biggest thing about that was that I was able to bring my boys and show them, you're not doing this alone. You have all these people behind you. I don't really know where myself or my family would be if, uh, if it wasn't just for the individuals and Ignite and Joe and people involved in it. Having Ignite the Spirit in the City of Milwaukee Fire Department, everyone says is probably one of the greatest things that we've done as a department, and especially Joel taking charge that we've done in a very, very long time. 
he's really taken this organization and um, has this passion for it that it, it's just, it, it's amazing. At the end, you remember the people that were there for you, and you remember the impact that it made. As this grows, I hope that it gives people a chance to interact with their firefighters more, to learn more about our fire department, the people who work for it, the jobs that we do, the different types of things that we face every day, day in and day out. I think we're going to help a lot more people along the way. Pretty incredible. Joe won our Community Hero Award last year, and he is a remarkable leader. Do you know someone who's going the extra mile? Nominate them for a Positively Milwaukee Award. We have seven categories, and we have them listed on the nomination page. You can only enter online. Go to tmj4.com slash awards for everything you need.